All right, good morning, kids. We're here flying. We're gonna do some testing. Turn some shit on. <sighs> Didn't do anything with this helicopter. Nothing. Flight RPM. Heading hold. Look at that sock out there. Got an east wind, and right now it's like a tailwind. So we're talking about using the rate mode to check your tail and we're going to check to see if my tail is actually set up correctly. Let me get it turned into the wind here. A little nose in action. And we're going to flip it to rate mode and we're going to see how if my tail is set up. Rate mode. Oh, that is perfect. Didn't move at all. And it's kind of weather veining like it's supposed to. You could use this as a wind direction indicator. <laughs> Heading hold. So this one is set up correctly. Five minutes. Oh, get up off of there, damn it. I don't want to get stuck underneath the pad again. <laughs> that was a horrible slide in landing. Oh my god. <sighs> not horrible. Not, not centered, but not horrible. Trying not to think about it. Oh, off the edge. With these older, like this has got the SK360 in it. It's hard not to put inputs in when it's just landing because it screws up everything. It's got to be really light on the skids whenever it comes into land. I'm going to freaking try to wipe my eyes because the wind is blowing my eyes watering. Oh, listen to the excuses today. Kind of centered. Two minutes. Ooh, there's a little gust of wind I feel on the back of my neck.
Didn't work on that one. Fifty seconds. Forty seconds. Might take the whole forty seconds to get a freaking land. Spinner, can you land? Nope. Jesus, seconds. all over the fucking place. What the hell? Twenty seconds. All right, we're gonna call that one good. Ground idle. Not horrible, but good practice. Yeah, good practice. <laughs> Fuck. And I also upped the gain on the gyro. It was down at 150 and I put it up at 200. It was at 210 before. I don't know why it changed. Probably something I did. Get this into a nice little heading for the winds and let's see what the rate mode does. Rate mode. Oh yeah, not bad. Still a little off, but not enough. I mean, that's. That's hands off, as far as the tail goes. Five minutes. Heading hold. So, that worked out really good. That was some wind. Not a bad landing. <clears throat> Sounds like we got a plane coming, maybe. Four minutes. Oh, yeah, there it is. Come on. All right. Out of one. We got a plane that's he's gonna do a run up, so we're gonna land and do a lot of the cool stuff. <sighs> oh, are we still going? Oh, I'm still going. Damn it. So I had somebody ask, hey, so you you're we're doing the whole changes on the on the, the tail to get it to hold in rate mode to make sure it's set up mechanically correctly. And somebody asked, Hey, how much is your your tail rotors spread apart? <laughs> on this one, it's a little wide. It is two and a quarter inches. From that point to that point. <laughs> but this is a big fat pig of a helicopter, so there would be the difference. Plus, it's got four-bladed head and lots of torque and all kinds of other stuff. So we'll plug this one in and we'll see what that one does too. But that's that's where I'm starting. Two and a quarter inches. And we'll figure out what that is in millimeters and we, we can go from there. All right, so I did a conversion on... Uh, the the tail rotor distance is two and a quarter inches is 50.8 millimeters. <laughs> uh, 
That's a long damn way to have it set up mechanically. Okay, so <laughs> what I was doing is I wanted to see what it was gonna do flying around in rate mode. I normally fly heading hold just because that's comfortable for me. Now the tail in forward flight is overpowered and it was overcompensating for it. You just can't win. God. And just out of curiosity, I thought, what was the little Lakota at? So you can see it here. And we are at about 33, 34 millimeters on there. But that is the mechanical setup. And this is in rate mode. But that's, you know, whenever you are pointing at these damn things. And this one, argh, come on, move. This one is actually, uh, well, it goes the same way, but it's on the other side. So this one, if I'm, if I'm going by where the, where the thing is kind of pointed at, kind of, <laughs> let me try it like this. Okay. So I would say we're pointed like that. And that is way out here. So that's, that's not that far off compared to that one, but that one's way heavier. So, you know, I'm aiming this one. This is the, the forward rotating of the blade. And yeah, that's why, <laughs> that's why this one's different. This is the top blade. This one rotates this way. This one rotates this way. So it's the opposite direction, but in order to get in the mechanical torque preset in there, I'm still aiming, you know, like out here on the main rotor to get it to uh, counter its torque when you're in rate mode, just, just to check the mechanical side of it. So there you go. We have, we have that part figured out. That was definitely a lot more because it's heavier and it's bigger, but it's it's not that far off. So that gives you guys a good start point, point starts. That gives you a good place to try to figure your shit out because <laughs> I can't figure out what I'm saying. All right, hopefully that clarifies some questions that I've received in the past about how is it mechanically set up? What you're wanting is you're wanting those tail blades to be separated. And what that does is that is a pre-torque pitch input in the tail rotor to hold it in a hover. Okay? So, in theory, you know, they can be all different. But what you're wanting is you're wanting that, um, that little bit of angle on the tail rotor so that it holds in rate mode, holds it in a hover without too much outside forces uh, affecting it. Winds, yeah, the, it, even in rate mode, it's going to weather vane. But you want it set up as close as possible to hold it in a hover without too much outside forces. That way, you're not fighting the helicopter itself when you're in heading hold mode or any of the other modes that are out there, GPS. And other. As long as you're not fighting the helicopter right off the bat, it's going to be fine. Heading hold mode kind of masks some of that sometimes when so you're not set up correctly. Even, even though when I had this one, you know, before, when I flipped into rate mode and it started turning, I didn't have it mechanically set up. Now we do. So it's all about the theory. Getting it set up beforehand so that you're not fighting the helicopter through the gyros and all that kind of good stuff will always make it better in the end. Okay? Clear as mud? Yeah, that's about where I'm at too. All right. Get out and build something.